Hey everyone, thanks for checking us out on a bonus episode of the new marketing show, Instagram TV, and here on YouTube. So on today's Trinity Web Minute, I briefly discussed about organizing content and the best way to do it. So let's dive into that just a little bit more. So the best way to organize content, first of all, is to make sure that you have your Google, you understand your Google Analytics. And Scott Yako on uh, the new marketing show bonus episode from a Throwback Thursday actually discussed that on the podcast today. So one of the things you want to make sure is understand your analytics, understand what moves the needle for your business and understand what you are trying to accomplish. From there, check out your analytics. What I like to do is I like to make sure that Users and readers and our audience is consuming the content that's most relevant to A, solving their problem, B, making sure that they know who we are, what we do, and how we can help them, and then also the information that they're looking for to better themselves. So a lot of times they're just looking for an answer on how to do something. Perfect. Is that problem solving? Absolutely. But it also falls into a different category. <clears throat> so what we want to do is we want to make sure that all of our content on site is organized in good categories. So nothing misleading. I don't want anything, you know, you know, to say WordPress development and then have it to do with content marketing and vice versa. So the categories on your site are basically your content buckets. So the content buckets allows your audience to go to one or two places so that they can go ahead and get exactly what they're looking for and more of what they're looking for. Now, how do you use tags when it comes to that? I like to use tags, and I very infrequently use tags, but I use tags when I'm creating some custom queries, when there are some custom content that I need people to find quickly that I want to utilize the WordPress search bar. Other than that, I really rely on good, good, good value content and also making sure that it's categorized the right way. If you use your categories the right way, you're going to find this solves a lot of your problems. The other stuff is like your the information that's most important about the brand, how to get in touch with you, you know what you do, all of that. That should be on your homepage, regardless. On your homepage, there's your feature post, your sticky post on the sidebar, something like that, where people can really, you know, get that and dive into that quickly. The other thing that I want to say is each post, no matter what, should only be in one category. So make sure that you find the proper category where that piece of content should fit make sure that everything works seamlessly if you put it in two categories you're gonna you could run into some google indexing challenges and some problems they may think that it's duplicate content so just make sure that you use one category and that'll solve most of your problems so hey thanks for checking us out and we look forward to bringing you more videos and more podcasts in the future talk to you soon